China appears to be growing increasingly resistant to dissent, according to human rights groups marking International Human Rights Day, with concerns that the situation is worsening. Lu Lina, whose husband fled China to escape a crackdown on dissidents in 2019, faced numerous challenges, including being prevented from leaving the country. Her eight-year-old son was effectively expelled from school, and the family resorted to filing for divorce in China to overcome the exit ban. The case of Lu's husband, Lu Sifang, a musician and former teacher, is emblematic of a broader trend of Chinese activists and rights lawyers facing arrests, forced hiding, or self-exile following a 2019 informal gathering to discuss human rights. Observers argue that Beijing's crackdown on dissent, both domestically and internationally, is intensifying under President Xi Jinping's leadership. Rights groups criticize Western governments, claiming they are not exerting enough pressure on China. Sophie Richardson, a China observer and former China director at Human Rights Watch, notes a significant deterioration in independent activism since she assumed power, indicating a deliberate effort to silence dissent globally. A recent report by the Rome-based rights group Safeguard Defenders suggests that China has escalated the use of collective punishment against the families of human rights advocates. The report highlights at least 50 cases from 2015 to 2022, including detentions, home evictions, harassment, or violent assaults on activists' family members. As the world marks the 75th anniversary of the UN Universal Declaration of Human Rights, concerns persist about China's human rights situation. The EU, during recent talks with China, expressed deep concerns about rights issues, though critics argue that the EU-China rights dialogue falls short of achieving tangible outcomes for dissidents. China's foreign ministry, represented by Wang Lutang, head of European Affairs, is willing to continue the human rights dialogue but warns against using human rights as a tool to criticize China. Foreign Minister Waini defends China's human rights record. Opposing attempts to impose values on other countries. In April, Chinese authorities detained human rights lawyer Yu Wenxing and his wife Su Yan as they headed to the EU office in Beijing. The couple faces vague charges of subversion of state power, highlighting an increasing trend of such charges against rights activists. The EU-China rights dialogue has been criticized for its perceived ineffectiveness in addressing the plight of dissidents. The case of Liu, the dissident who fled to the US, illustrates the challenges faced by those who managed to leave China. Liu and his wife were separated for three years, and despite reuniting in the US, they experienced retaliation from Chinese law enforcement officials. The couple has since remarried, but Lu believes such harsh measures are intended to intimidate dissenters and their families.